Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to calculate period of a function and we will also solve some questions from previous year papers. Period of a function fx is the value of x after which the function repeats itself. For example, fx equal to sin x. In the graph of sin x, it is clearly seen that the function repeats itself at the interval of 2 pi. Mathematically, we can write the periodic function as fx is equal to f of x plus t, where t is the period of the function. Also, we should note that not all the functions are periodic like fx equal to log x, fx equal to x square, fx equal to x and some other functions. To find the period of a function, in examination we have to learn some rules. So rule number 1, the period of sin x cos x cos x and sec x is equal to 2 pi. And rule number 2, tan x cot x has a period of pi. Now rule number 3, this is the most important rule in this section. The period of sin of 2x or the sin of ax plus b that means some constant is multiplied with the value of x. In this case, the period of the function will be 2 pi divided by the coefficient of x. For example, the period of sin 2x is equal to 2 pi by 2. This rule is same for cos x, sec x, cos x, x and some other functions. For example, fx equal to cos of 3x plus pi by 4. Period will be 2 pi by 3 because the coefficient of x in this case is equal to 3. The next rule is that the period of all the trigonometric function inside the modulus is equal to pi. Now let us try to solve some important questions. In this case, the fundamental period of 2 cos x sin x is asked. Here we can write 2 sin x cos x as sin 2x. And so the period of sin 2x will be 2 pi divided by the coefficient of x. In this case, it is 2. So option B is the correct option. In this question, we have to find the period of two functions added together. That is sin 2x and cos 3x. In this type of questions, we have to take the LCM of individual periods. So the period of this function will be LCM of 2 pi by 2 and 2 pi by 3, which is 2 pi. In the same way, we can find the period of individual functions and then take the LCM of these two to get the answer. So the period of fx will be LCM of 2 pi by pi by 3 and 2 pi by pi by 4, which is the LCM of 6 and a, and hence option C is the correct answer. Here we have to find the period of two modulus functions added together. So in this case, the period will be LCM of pi by 1 by 2 and pi because the modulus function has a period of pi and sin of x by 2 will have a period of pi by 1 by 2 because here the coefficient of x is 1 by 2. So the period of fx will be LCM of 2 pi and pi that is 2 pi. If you learned something from this video, then let me know in the comment section by solving this question.